Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crew for YouTuber that's trying to be a long no buy. And today I am here with a tag video. This tag is the beauty spending tag, it's made by Hannah's Room. I will leave her down in the description, her video and her channel and also up here. I saw this video at Angelica Nyqvist channel, so I do really like to do tags and when I see a new fun tag, I want to do it. And this is seven questions about spending money on beauty. And as you may know, I do am in a no buy when it comes to beauty. So I thought it could be fun to do this tag because I can like see it in the... I, I'm going to compare how I was before this year when I didn't have a no buy and now how it is within my no buy. So this is some question if I didn't say that, so I guess we are just going to hop into this. And the first question is, when do you buy something new? And <laughs> this year it is when something is done. Finished, finito, gone. I have though bought some things when the old thing haven't been gone done finito um if i'm going to like this year i have bought a new foundation a new powder new eyeshadow base and new mascaras and that is all the makeup that i bought um the foundation i bought because i i went through like my stash uh, like my backups like all of them are old and they smelled a little bit funny so I did throw them away. I did need a new foundation. My powder is almost done and over and uh, eyeshadow base. I had one that I really hated so I bought a new one. And that is how I have been shopping makeup this year. When something is empty I buy a new one. And before this year I did buy whenever I wanted. Like foundations and face powders has never been a thing that I have been shopping too much of. I have never had like a super big stock of it. I use it up, I buy a new one. But when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, blushes, highlighters, I did buy whenever I wanted. I, If I felt like buying something, I did. But I have always only bought things when I have the money and um, I have never like shopped for more money that I have and I take that as a pride I have never ever taken a loan in my whole life I haven't bought such expensive things in my life either but like if I'm going to buy a house someday I guess I will have to take a loan for it because I do not have that money to buy a house but like I have never taken a loan on buying everything anything um, so I buy stuff when I want new stuff or I did now I buy something when it's done the next question is how much of your spending is influenced and when I was sitting down and like when I watched Hannah's video and was thinking about this I have had my YouTube channel for quite a while I mostly watch other beauty youtubers and often smaller beauty youtubers and i don't think that i have been like super influenced about different products it has more been about brands like if i saw somebody use like we can take kaleidos for example i don't know if it was paulina beauty and maybe in its makeup corner that I saw do videos with the first free Fusion palettes. I was blown away. I bought them and then I was like stuck in Kaleidos. It has been the same with like Blush Tribe in the beginning. And also Shroud. Of course there have been some specific products. But I think I have been really influenced like testing out the new brand. And it has almost always been with eyeshadow palettes not that much about base products because I think base products is so hard because it is 
you have different skin types, you have different things that you like, and... But yeah, I think that the most of when it comes to my eyeshadow palettes has been influenced by other YouTubers. With my base things, not that much. There hasn't been a lot of base products that I have been seen on anybody at somebody else and has been like, I need it in my life. But when it comes to eyeshadows, I think almost all of my palettes <laughs> is influenced by someone. So maybe I'm just lying when I say it's about brands, but I think like the most of my palettes, maybe not my Nabla palettes, maybe not my Minority palettes, but others I think there has been a big influence into a brand and then I have started to love the brand and I wanted it. I don't know if I have a single like brand when it comes to eyeshadow palettes where I haven't been influenced by somebody else to buy it. I don't know if I have found any eyeshadow palettes on my own. Question number three. What is the item you would buy again without hesitation? And uh, I actually think it's this one. This is the Ozone highlighter from Nabla. I have this on today. This is my absolute favorite highlighter in my collection. I love it so much. It works like for a glam makeup. It works for an everyday makeup. It works if you don't set your base with powder. It works on powder. It works like with everything. And I do love this one. And I it suits me so good. It looks so good. I don't know how much you can see of it. But... I just love it and if it would ever happen something to this one, I would buy it again. This is one of my absolute favorite products I have in my whole collection. You can go to my YouTube page and search for Ozone and I think there is like 80% maybe of my videos. I'm using this one. I love this so so much. It's the best highlighter I know. And it's really like holy grail for me. So I would buy it without hesitation. Like there hasn't been any other product that I have loved that much that I have loved this. And question number four is, do you splurge during sale? And uh, in Sweden, we have like a Black Friday sale. It's not as big in the US, but it's getting bigger. We have this Christmas sale is the big thing in Sweden, you know, between Christmas and New Year's. And then it continues on to... January in the beginning and we also have the beauty the big beauty store in Sweden that is called Kix it's having I think it's a summer sale as well that is really really big and I I wouldn't say that I've splurged <laughs> and even though like last year of course like this is the thing about living in Sweden <laughs> and shopping makeup from the US. I usually waited if there was something that I really wanted and I know there was going to be a Black Friday sale. Of course I did wait for it and maybe bought some things that I wasn't planning on buying if I would have bought it like paying full price because I do need to pay shipping often shipping and also like taxes and everything and I don't know if you understand how expensive it is to get things into Sweden from the US so I guess I once or twice I might have bought stuff on Black Friday that I wasn't planning on buying but just because I was on the site it was a Black Friday sale and I often thought like okay if I go up to the money it would have been if it was a normal price that is okay i might go over i just threw in some things that i wouldn't have bought if it was for full price but now it's sale on it so i don't know if i would say that i would splurge and um, maybe maybe some things has gotten down in my shopping cart that I wasn't planning on, but like not super, super much. 
Question number five. How much of your collection do you use and how many items have you not touched since purchase? And if we were going to take this last year, there were would have been a lot of things. Now, with uh, my no buy, because it's not coming in any new products in my makeup collection this year and no new palettes, it has shrunk. And I also did an eyeshadow palette decluttering in the end of 2021. So I have one palette at home that I haven't used and um, that's all. I think like everything else I have actually used. Maybe not a lot and I do have some palettes that I have used once but during this year I have really 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 been using things in my collection so much more because I've had to. Like I have new, no new palettes to try. I have to find a way to use the collection that I do have and that I do love. And I've been really loving this with having my Noba that I have used palettes this year that I haven't thought about that much and that I have like forgotten about because I always have bought new palettes and new palettes and new palettes and that has been amazing. So the percentage of my makeup collection that I haven't used since purchase is so so much smaller than it was a year ago. And I am actually happy about that. I think maybe the thing that I haven't been like using that much is my lipsticks. I think I do have some lipsticks that I maybe have used once <laughs> since I purchased them. But like when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and blushes, I've been really using more blushes this year than I usually do. So this year I have been really like using my collection. It has been like a shop my stash the whole year for me because there hasn't been any new products. There hasn't been any new eyeshadow palettes. There hasn't been any new lipsticks, any new blushes, any new highlighters. And it has been really, really fun to discover my makeup collection again because I do, I have been collecting makeup for a couple of years, but it has always been new things all the time. So I haven't got the time to go through my collection, which I have had now. And that I have been loving. And question number six is, does your spending <laughs> embarrass you or stress you out? And I wouldn't say that I it has stressed me out. And that is one of the reasons why I did have a low buy 2019, I would say. 2020. I can never remember which year it was I had. I think it was 2020, maybe I have a uh, low buy. And that was because my big makeup collection and seeing all the things that I never used just stressed stressed me out and like was overwhelming. And it was the same thing in the end of last year and that's why I decided to go on a no buy and just to see can I make it and it seems like I am making it. It's November, it's the middle of November and yeah, as I said, I haven't bought a lot of new makeup. Um, so my spending now, it, feel, it, it feels really good because it's like non-existing. Um, and I didn't, was embarrassed about my spending before. The only thing was when I did the collective hauls. Um, it hasn't been a haul on this channel for a long, long time. I think I had one in the end of last year, so maybe a year ago was my last haul. Um, the only thing like with doing collective hauls, and I did them maybe like four months, four months spending in one video. And then I felt like this is too much, but at the same time it was spread over four months, so I didn't buy everything in just one bulk. So even though I love all videos and now I can actually watch them, that was really really hard in the beginning of this year, but now I can watch them, it's no problem. 
because I'm not getting any FOMO and I'm always done, almost done with this now by, so I don't feel like FOMO, I don't feel sad about watching whole videos, but yeah, seeing like when you have bought like maybe 10 palettes and you're showing palette after palette and was like, I haven't used this one yet, I haven't used this one yet, it didn't felt good. Um, but now I am, I feel good, <laughs> I feel good and I don't spend. Then maybe we shouldn't maybe talk about shoe shopping and jewelry shopping. We don't need to go into that. That is not what this channel is about and that is not what my no buy is about. And then the last question, question number seven. Have you made any sh changes in your spending habits and why? And of course there has been a lot because I am on the snow buy. Maybe I can count how many times I have said no buy in this video. And yeah, it has changed a lot. And it is because I, I did want to try something new. And I have always like felt that a no buy is nothing for me. Like it's never going to work. It's never going to be something that I can find that is fun. Now I think it's, I'm so used to not buying things. So now it, it doesn't feel anything special. But yeah, I've changed a lot. Last year wasn't a year when I bought super much. I don't think it is. <laughs> I, I can't. I have a hard time to remember what happened last week sometimes. So like remember what happened last year. Mm, I don't know. But I have really changed a lot. And like my whole mindset has changed. And it is <laughs> all to my But I, I really don't know how and when this happened. I know that I talked in some of my no buy updates, like now it's feeling like I'm getting the hang of this. And it's just, it's about changing your habits, I guess. And um, how I did it wasn't maybe the best way because I did work too much. That's, if I didn't have worked so much in the beginning of this year, I don't know if I would have been here. I don't know if I would have still being on the snow bike, if I'm going to be honest. I do not recommend to work too much just to take your mind off makeup shopping. That That is not a good thing, but that is what it is. And yeah, my shopping habits has changed a lot because I don't shop any makeup right now. It feels so strange to say that. And I am going to have like in December I am going to have more than one video I think about my no buy and like tips and what I think has worked for me um, and also like I'm trying to figuring out what I want to do next year. Right now I don't know if I want to con okay I don't want to continue but I don't think that I will go back to what is what is once was. I don't really hope. I really hope it won't be like that. And yeah, that was all for this video. I do really hope that you liked it. Don't forget to check out Hannah that has made this tag. And if you have any other tags that you know of that you want me to do, just let me know. And yeah, I guess that was all for this video. So if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!